Hi everyone. Since Copilot became a hot topic right now, and everyone is talking about how you can use and enable Copilot, not just inside your Office 365, but also inside Dynamics 365. So we created a couple of videos how to configure and use Copilot. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can install, configure, and use Sales Copilot for Teams. We talked before about how to use Sales Copilot in Outlook, and now we're going to do the second part, which is how to use Copilot for Teams and how to use Sales Copilot for Teams. So there is a couple of steps that I have done, and I'm going to show you what I have done and how we can use them. Let me show you what to do. I went to the Power Platform Admin Center, and I checked the settings, and I made sure that the Copilot preview feature is being enabled. The second thing is I went to the environment and I went to the environment that I wanted to make sure that the copilot is being enabled on. Then settings, products, features, and then we make sure that the copilot feature, which is the preview feature, is being enabled. After that, I went to the environment itself. Then I clicked on advanced settings. Then went to administration and system settings in the preview tab which this tab was not there like two or three months ago. I checked, I have read and agree the license term. And I also checked the yes on enable organization for insights review and then OK. After that, to install the sales copilot for Teams, we need to go to the Office 365 Admin Center, which is admin.microsoft.com. Show all. Settings, integrated apps, and you need to make sure you say to get the app, then look for co pilot. We talked before about how you can install and set up Copilot for Outlook, but today you are going to be talking about how you can install and set up Sales Copilot for Microsoft Teams. And by the way, this was called Viva Sales. So Microsoft has rebranded or has renamed Viva Sales to Sales Copilot. Let's click get it now. Get it now. And boom. It's been loaded and you will see that Microsoft Viva Sales again. Keep in mind that Microsoft has renamed Viva Sales to Sales Copilot. So sometimes you will see it as Viva Sales, sometimes you will see it as Copilot, and you will see it's been enabled for Outlook and Teams. And if you click Manage Configuration, there is nothing we need to do over there for Outlook, but we need to go to the Teams Admin Center to do some enablements and to do some configuration. So let's go to Teams Admin Center. One of the things that you need to do in Teams app, manage app, or manage apps. Let's look for the app Copilot. Again, sometimes you will see it as Sales Copilot, sometimes you'll see it as Viva Sales. Let's make sure that this app is being allowed. So allow this app. Then we need to go to policies and we need to set up a policy. Let's say let's call this policy is copilot policy. Copilot policy. In the copilot policy, we will make this app as bent, which means that it's going to be pinned on the left hand side, which I'm going to show you. And we will see the sales copilot has already been over here. We can make it all the way at the top or all the way at the bottom. It doesn't matter. Save. After that, we need to go and open Teams to see if sales copilot has been installed over there and see also how we can install this app into different teams. So let's open Teams. And you will see that the sales copilot is going to be already pinned in the left hand side. And because I am an administrator, I can see the setting for the app. So in the settings, you will see that, you know, 
it's going to tell you that this is a preview feature and it's going to tell you, you know, it's ready to use it, feel free to enable it, and it's going to tell you this is a new and uh, feel free to make sure that this is a preview and please read and see to tell you what's in the preview. You will find in the bottom over here also that it is connected to my environment. And if you're not connected to any environment and it's going to ask you to connect the environment and it's going to take you to the Outlook. So over there, you will need to connect to that environment and this link, it shows you how. But because I installed it before, it's been already connected to my environment so let's go to any team and try to start using sales copilot if you go to any sales team and if you can create any new conversation you will see in the bottom over here that here is the actual pinned uh, applications that you can use and if you click over here you will see the sales copilot so if you click on sales copilot it's gonna go over the record is that and the table that it is connected to it's connected to the account and entity so if you click on anyone it's going to put those information about that uh, account that we selected and you can share the information about that account to the whole group and even if you click over here it's going to go and open that uh, record inside dynamics one cool thing about the app, if you come and try to open a um, sales group, or if you try to manage the app as an administrator, if you come over here and apps, and you say manage apps, and you go to the sales group pilot, you will see it's been added to the CRM team. And once you go to CRM team, you will see this is all the apps inside CRM team. And once you click on the sales copilot again, it's going to give you the permission or the ability to add it to another team or to add it to one of the connected chairs or to even add it to the meeting. So any one of the recurrence meetings that you have. So once you click as an example to add to a meeting, you can select the meeting that you have. And of course, it's going to go read that meeting and give you a little bit of a summary about it. But we're not going to show this right now for the sake of that demo. But if you can connect it to a chat, you can say in one of the group chats that you have, let's say as an example, we're going to connect it to that group chat for a specific account. And if we set up a pod, if you click help, it's going to tell you what record you want to search for. You can click search records and then it's going to open you the copilot sales and you can pick an opportunity or any uh, record and it's going to take you there. And once you click open in dynamics, it's going to open that one in dynamics. So this is it for that demo. Copilot is way too big. And again, we're going to be conducting a bunch of series that talks about copilot how to use it inside Teams, how to use it in your meetings, how to use it in Outlook, and how to use it even in your Dynamics 365 for cases and customer service. If you are, if you have any question about how to use or install Copilot, feel free to DM me. Thank you. Talk to you soon.